Okay, boys and girls, today we are on Thursday's homework. So here we have Thursday. You are going to reread same text that we've been reading since Monday and answer questions four and five. If you need to use a separate piece of paper for question five, you need to go ahead and do that. There is a way for you to attach it. Um, so let's go ahead and begin by reading. So the title of this passage is The Lad Who Went to the North Wind. We've been reading the same passage for a week, uh, for this entire week. So uh, you're going to continue to read it. A young lad was showing his mother a meat pie he had made. They were very poor. This was their last bit of food. Suddenly, the pie was blown up into the air and away. I shall go to the north wind and demand that he return our pie, said the lad. I may be small, but I walk tall. The journey was long and hard. At last, the lad heard a loud and blustery voice calling from the top of a mountain. Who dares approach the home of the north wind? It is I, the lad whose meat pie you stole this very morning. The north wind said he would give the lad a magic red tablecloth that would serve him meals fit for a king. The lad went to an inn to spend the night. There he spread out the cloth and produced a fine feast that he shared with the other guests. The innkeeper's wife wanted the tablecloth for herself. When the lad was asleep, she took it and exchanged it with her own red tablecloth. The lad took the cloth home to his mother and spread it out on their kitchen table. When no feast appeared, the lad said, I shall go back for clearly I have been tricked. Again, the lad set off on the long journey to the mountain. This time, the north wind gave him a stick. It will spray water until you tell it to stop, said the north wind. You will find a good use for it. When the lad stopped at the inn again, he used the stick to spray water all over the innkeeper's wife. Bid the stick be still, she cried. You shall have your cloth back. The lad took the magic cloth and the stick home to his mother. They shared a delicious meal. She hugged the lad. You may be small, but you walk tall, she said. Okay, once again, Thursday, we read and answer questions four and five. Okay, so you did these. These three should have been done on Wednesday. So you're doing questions four and five. Question four. Why does the lad spray water all over the innkeeper's wife? He suspects that she stole his magic tablecloth. He does not know how to control the stick. She does not have a a room for him, she is slow to serve his meal. Okay, so one of those is your answer choice. And number five, the lad says, I may be small, but I walk tall. What does he mean? Use details from the passage to support your answer. Write your response on another sheet of paper. So once again, you can attach this and then also make sure to restate your question. Restate it. All right, here we go with our main idea and details page. Okay, please remember you have your main idea. And then you have your details. So main idea is usually a green. And then we have our details, which is one detail is yellow. The second detail is yellow. And the last detail is yellow. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this one called Thunderstorms. And then you're going to read the following paragraph, determine the main idea, and write it beside the cone. Identify the most important details and write them beside the scoops of ice cream. So your main idea will go here. Your details will Detail number one will go here, number two, and then number three. Okay, here we go. Thunderstorms are dangerous. 
Every thunderstorm contains lightning and lightning kills more people each year than tornadoes or hurricanes. Do you know what to do to remain safe during a thunderstorm? First, go inside a sturdy building or a vehicle and close the windows. Furthermore, the National Weather Service recommends that you stay inside for at least 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder is heard. Do not use telephones or electrical equipment. Avoid taking showers or baths. If you are unable to get safely inside a building, avoid taking cover beneath tall, isolated trees. Also avoid water, high ground, and metal objects. Knowing what to do and what not to do during a thunderstorm could save your life. Okay, so main idea, detail, detail, detail. Okay, and then we have our math page. This is number forms and comparing numbers. So this is all that we've been learning. You have seven questions. Question number one says the table, number one, the table shows the number of visitors at a park a week, one week. So you have the day here and the visitors here. Which order below shows the number of visitors from least to greatest? Least to greatest. So you're going to look at the visitor section and you're going to put them in order from least to greatest. And then you have your answer choices A, B, C, or D. Please only make one answer choice. Okay, number two, choose the correct word form. Remember, word form. Okay, so this number is 127,712. So what is the correct word form? You have 127,012. B, 127,712. C, 127,702. Or D, 127,712. Okay, for number three, you are going to write the number above in expanded form. So that means this number, you're going for number three, you're going to write it in expanded form. Okay, so this number, you're going to put that number there in expanded form. Okay, number four. Two friends played a video game. Zach scored 13,407 points. Jack scored 13,047 points. Who scored more? Who scored more? Okay, make sure to answer in a complete sentence. Restate the question. Okay, number five. Which number sentence is false? False, okay? So you're going to read your choices. A says 1,237 is less than 2,137. B says 3,242 is less than 3,224. C says 4,265 is greater than 4,256. D is 2,546 is greater than 2,456. So which number sentence is false? Okay, number six. Which number below is greater than 24,508? Is it A, 24,805? B, 24,405? 
408, C, 24,058, or D, 24,458. And number seven, the population of Baton Rouge is 200,000 plus 30,000 plus 50 plus eight. What is the population in standard form? Standard form. A, 23,508. B, 230,058. C, 23,580. D, 203,580. And last question, number eight. The population of Madisonville is 16,084. What is this number in expanded form? A, 16 plus 1,000 plus 80 plus 4. B, 16 plus 1,000 plus 800 plus 40. C, 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 80 plus 4. D, 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 800 plus 40. Okay, so one of these is this number right here, 16,084. Okay, and that's going to conclude Thursday's homework, boys and girls. Make sure to turn it into your Google Classroom and have a great evening.